Well, thank you, Mark. You know, not far down the road, just here on Main Street, is another unique attraction right here in Delphos, Ohio. One of three in the country, wow. I understand, the Postal Museum. Yeah, we're going to take a look inside. Jennifer has a tour and an interview with the man that runs this amazing establishment that looks back on the history of the postal system. Thank you, Andy and Zach. And I am standing in what could be considered a hidden gem here in Delphus. Like you said, Zach, this is one of just three museums in the country dedicated solely to the history of the post office and the postal traffic system. I am with Gary Levitt, who has a long history himself with the post office. Gary, why is it so important to preserve the postal history? Well, we felt it was very important for people to understand what role the Postal Service played in the development of their lives. We go back and, and start showing them from the colonial period when letters didn't even have stamps and they were used sealing wax and how important it was for everyone to communicate back and forth. I mean, if you look at your own industry and the industries that are coming up today from Twitter and Facebook and everyone is trying so hard to make it instantaneous communication. Well, that was a dream of the Postal Service right from the start. Uh, you know, post offices themselves became the cultural hubs of a town. Uh, they, uh, people would congregate in the morning to get their mail. Uh, in fact, that's how even city delivery got started many years ago, was all the people from the women from the Civil War waiting for word from their loved ones were sitting in the Cleveland Post Office uh, waiting for word. And the Cleveland Postmaster said, I, I can't have all these hundreds of people in my lobby every day. Go home and we'll deliver the mail. And that's how city delivery actually started national history and local history here at the Postal Museum in Delphus. Gary, tell me a little bit about the area we're in now. This has some definite connections to Delphus, right? Yes, it does. Um, the uh, backdrops that you see are for the period of time of the vehicles that we have. And this is the old Munner Farm, and to my right is also the old State Farm, the uh, Hurston Farm out on State Road. This is a 1910 sleigh that was used in the area. Uh, it comes off the runners very easily, and we turn it into a coach. And uh, it, it was used throughout uh, this area for rural delivery after 1896, of course, when it started. Next stop on our mail tour takes us to another vehicle used for mail. Explain what this one is about and where it came from. Okay, this actually came out of the Dayton, Ohio post office area. Uh, it was a 1906 Harrington roll coach. Everything on it except the canvas is original, so you can even see how the, the things were constructed at that time. This was, uh, you would spend all day going down the road and feeling the vibration because the roads weren't very well built in those days, and this has been around since then. You know, in just my few minutes of being here at this museum, I am amazed just by seeing the history of postal travel, and that is just a tiny part of what you can learn about by visiting here. Mail by train, you've got that here as well. Yes, that's an actual to scale apartment. It's a 15 foot compartment that was used on the Akron Telfus Youngstown on the old AC and Y Railroad. And it went back and forth every day uh, delivering mail to all of those cities. And the train didn't stop. So mm -hmm. they caught the mail on the fly and threw it off while they were rolling. So we go from the trains and we move just down a little bit here in the museum. And now we're in three wheeled cars. I think we've jumped uh, a gener we've jumped an era here, but I'm continually amazed by what, what is here in Delphus. Well, these vehicles span from the early 50s to the late 60s, where the train went from 1850 to about 1972. And we kept developing more and more vehicles. Uh, you'll come through and you can see some of the scooters we've used, bicycles. And then we even talk about some of the wild things we've done, like camel mail and missile mail and uh, pneumatic mail. And uh, it's, it, we've tried everything under the sun. Well, in a, in a generation where people are using so many different communication means than just mail, I think it is so important to preserve this history. What an incredible location right in your backyard, really, a great summer trip. If people want to come and visit this museum, what do they need to do? All they need to do is uh, come in and uh, give us a call at 419-303-5482, uh, which is our phone number. They can look on our website, which is postalhistorymuseum.org. 
and we're open every every day, Tuesday through Friday, and then on Saturdays from 10 to 2. And we uh, take groups at any time they like to come in. So all they have to do is give us a buzz, put a note on our website. We get it every day. All right, Gary, thank you so much. Now, we're going to stay in Delphus. Don't go away. We've got food. Food's coming up. Andy and Zach are going to test try a few important, well-known food items here in Delphus. But first, we're going to take a quick jump to Pandora. Dancy is in the studio with Dr. Daryl Groman, who's received a really special honor. <laughs> 